So I've always wanted to do like vlogs or videos or whatever, but you know, never really did because I didn't know if I have anything to say or anything like that. So this morning when I was up at the butt crack of dawn, I thought why not and I tried to incorporate it with the blog that I currently already have. Um, I haven't been writing as much lately just because, I don't know, I don't think there's anything to write about. Kind of, not necessarily like a writer's block, but I'm just kind of not inspired. I feel stuck, like nothing exciting is happening for me to like tell people about and I'm not very good at coming up with stories or anything, so... A little bit about me if you don't already know, I am currently a sophomore in college, I go to WSU. I'm studying communications for now, we'll see if that changes. Um, I stayed for the summer to get ahead on classes. That was the like original point, but it ended up me being catching up since I failed a few courses. Um, I'm staying in a summer dorm uh, and there's no one on my floor on the girl side. I'm the only person here. I don't know about the guy side, but it's really weird being the only person on a dorm floor when I came from my other dorm. It was constantly jam-packed. A little bit more as to why I'm studying communications. Um, I'm not necessarily sure what I want to like do with that when I'm done with school, but I just know that I've always really loved writing. Like When I was younger, I went to young writers conferences and I was just something that I was always intrigued with and interested and passionate about. And so freshman year of college, I kind of started using um, the blog I have now as a way to, you know, kind of express what's been going on with my life and, you know, just kind of use it as an outlet to everything that's going on. And um, I loved it. My parents love it. Friends and family who read it, you know, they like it. Don't know if they're being polite because, you know, <laughs> they should because they're friends and family or if they genuinely like it. Um, and so it's kind of an alley I want to explore some more and see if, you know, I can make a career out of either writing or something in media. Um, I'm really active on most of my social media accounts. It's just something I always enjoy. Like, you can make such a connection with, like, other people in the world that you generally wouldn't meet, like, your bubble here, like, at school. Like, I'm not going to meet someone from Atlanta or, you know, Virginia or places like that. But with social media, you know, I can meet them. I can strike up a conversation with them and they can tell me about themselves. And so... It's just something I've always been intrigued with, and um, I was looking at the stats of my blog, and there's someone in Canada that constantly reads my blog, and I think it's hilarious because I don't know anyone in Canada, and so, I don't know, it's pretty cool. So in August, uh, I think the 12th and the 13th, my dad is coming to school to help me move from this dorm to my new dorm. Um, I actually have an apartment in the dorm I'm going to be in on the fifth floor with some random three other girls, I don't know. Um, but I'm pretty stoked because I hated having a roommate freshman year. I'm gonna have roommates now, but I'm gonna have my own space, my own room. So, you know, it's gonna be, I'm excited. Um, and it's in the center of campus. And like this summer, I've been on Southside. It's away from everything. All of my classes just, it's ridiculous. And so, um, I'm excited for, you know, my dad to come up and stay with me for a few days and help me move. Uh, and just hang out with him and my mom for a few days because, you know, being away to college, I really don't get to. And uh, so it's always, I always love getting to see them when I go home. I get so excited. Not being able to see my family 24 7 is definitely something that has uh, been hard for me to deal with, but it's a new, you know, uh, hurdle I'm dealing with, especially because my mom just had a baby in December and I've always been such a huge part of all of my siblings, like growing up, that has been weird for me to be away, but, you know. Whenever I go home, I make the best of it. Um, and I think that it's been harder for me, you know, this school year because I didn't have anyone paving the road for me. You know, my dad didn't go to college. Uh, my stepmom, she didn't stay. M my real mom and I don't talk. I'm really the first of, you know, anyone in my family to go. And so I've kind of been paving the road for my siblings, but also learning while I'm learning these things, so are my parents, and so it's kind of a growing thing together, and, um, you know, some of the choices I make, you know, my parents aren't necessarily going to be 100% on board with, but I just gotta realize that I am 19 now, and I am an adult, so the choices I make, they're not always gonna like, but they're what's best for me, and I just, you know, I know that they'll support me 100% no matter what, or I hope so, um, and it's just, it's been difficult, it really has, that, I know I'm here alone. Yeah, I have friends that I can call my mom whenever, call my dad whenever, but 
the fact that I'm here alone doing this by myself is kind of difficult, but you know, it's going to be worth it in the long haul. I'm going to be the first to graduate college. I'm going to make a name for myself. Freshman year was difficult. Um, yeah, it was definitely a year for learning. You know, I had some uh, intense anxiety that I had to deal with. You know, now I've, I've dealt with it. But um, unfortunately, I failed two classes, which put me on academic probation. Uh, and for the summer, I had to complete a uh, academic success plan, I think it was called, to make sure that I can do classes for the fall. So I took a history class and a, um, a sociology class, you know, to kind of make the summer go by. Uh, the history class was a freshman requirement, so I had not taken care of that yet, so I went ahead and did so this summer. And then um, I was gonna take a math class as well because I'm not good at math and, you know, I was a few classes behind. But the thing is about my math classes, it's only six weeks long for the summer course. And that's every other week I have a, an exam. That's really stressful. Um, I had to drop that, that math class, you know, to not have another, um, uh, F on my transcript. I just have a W, so uh, which means I withdrew, and I can retake that class and replace that with that W. Um, and so when I retake that class, I'll have a lot more time to you know learn the materials, study my ass off, get a few tutors to make sure that math is not the thing that's going to hold me back. You know, my dad says, "Is math going to be the the thing that causes you not to graduate college?" And it, no. I'm gonna graduate and yeah math is ridiculously hard I just do not have the brain for it the mindset you know I'm more um, creative and you know kind of right brained you know numbers just don't work well in my mind they never have and so I'm really gonna have to work my ass off to make sure that I can do this and I know I can it's just gonna be really difficult I'm gonna ramble here for a second um the new game Pokemon Go has taken my campus by storm. Uh, granted, there's not that many students on campus for the summer, but you know, the students that are here are loving it. Um, the other night, I went out and walked around campus, you know, I think it was 11, 30, 12, to see what Pokemon I could get, and you know, couldn't sleep anyways. And I honestly didn't think there'd be that many people on campus, you know, it was like a, a Monday night at like midnight. And then I was walking around, there was hordes of people, oh my god, and they were laughing, they were having so much fun, there's music being played somewhere, it was really great. Um, granted, I did not go and join any of those groups because I was being socially shy, I just, you know, it was really great to see, I, I thought it was great. But, it's kind of brought people together, you know, it's nostalgic, you know. I didn't play Pokemon when I was younger, I just didn't understand it, don't necessarily understand it myself still, but... Those people that did play and they gotta play it now and it's really funny you know people are running around outside having a great time you know they're engaging one another people that usually wouldn't talk to one another are asking each other questions like oh do you know where this gym is or like do you have any pokey stops or like you know just really cool stuff and it's really started to bring people together and you know a time of absolute shit and chaos so i think it's pretty cool so i guess i'm gonna end this video with saying you know uh college is definitely hard as fuck and as much as people you know try and prepare you and help you and like in high school they're like oh this will prepare you for college that's complete bullshit whole different ball game when you get up here you know you just kind of have to do it and then learn and then if you make a mistake you know you learn from that and so that's really what i've been doing and i've been working my ass off and trying my hardest to you know get through this and just do the best i can because you know my little sister and my little brothers i'm honestly here for them i want them to be able to be like wow sis could do it and she was struggling but damn she made it through where her graduation that's what i want them to be able to say i want them to be able to brag to their friends oh my sister's at college or once i'm out of college oh my sister can do this or you know that i'm actually that I've, I've done what I wanted to. Not necessarily saying that there's people that go to college and don't, I'm just saying that I've always been a person that's had dreams and aspirations and I wanna be able to follow them. And that's what I'm doing here and I'm trying. And so I just wanna make, you know, my, my dad most of all, I wanna make him proud, but I also wanna inspire my younger siblings to, you know, follow their dreams and let them know they can do it too. It's gonna be a lot of hard work, but damn, they can do it. Um, so yeah, well, thanks for watching, you know, me ramble on about complete nonsense for a while, but I'm going to try and start doing this some more when, you know, I have 
I was writing blocks, so let's see how this goes.